So we're going to go in and add one more data layer. This is a map index layer that was created for you. And this will give you an idea of how you can go about creating a nice looking map book that is easy to use in the field. Change the colors here so that we can get an idea of what this is outlining. And you can see that there's some large rectangles here that generally encompass our area of interest. To begin in our map making, we're going to go ahead and switch over to our layout view and we're going to make some changes. We're going to go into our print and page setup, change this to landscape, and adjust our data frame accordingly. Our assignment has asked us to make sure that we use a scale of 1 to 7500 on our page. As you can see, the 1 to 7500 scale zooms in just enough that we can incorporate four different map pages that have a certain amount of overlap for our first responders. Make sure that you include the proper information in your legend that identifies parcels, the buffer, and the stream. You can go on from there and create four different maps with this information. As you can see we can page down and you have an idea of your map index and where you need to create your maps. Lastly, it helps if you go ahead and create a map index page. The map index page, we can insert a new data frame. We could add in our map index, some critical information, such as the stream, and perhaps roads, if you happen to have them loaded. And we can create another map, an index map, for the first responders to use to get an idea of what pages they're looking at. It's helpful in a map book to ensure that you put page numbers on your index page and on your corresponding map pages. In this case, we could simply add text and so on to create our index page. It always helps to have a title and also have your north arrow and scale bar. Now this map is not complete but you get the idea of how to go about finishing. From here you'll want to take your data the critical information in the second part of task one and put it online as a Google map. Finally, you'll take the information that was joined into our parcel info and you'll export that to Microsoft Excel and create a very readable, usable PDF with critical bits of information including parcel ID, address, first and last name, and phone number. This will give all of the first responders the opportunity to call and contact these individuals to ensure that there are no people on the premises that might be impacted by the fumes. Further, for your final analysis, you'll need to ensure that you calculate the total area of the impact buffer and the length of the stream reach and provide that information.